This program is brought to you in association with Kieran Kavanagh Promotions. After a long absence due to COVID-19, Daniel O'Donnell will make a welcome return to the UK this October for his concert tour. Hear Daniel sing all your favourites and songs from his current album simply entitled Daniel. For all booking and ticket information, please go to www.danielodonnell.org. Then click on Tours where you can check all your venue and booking information. So why not stand beside Daniel and give him a big welcome back to the UK this October. For details, go to www.danielodonnell.org. Leading Ballina businesswoman Molly Maguire has, over the decades, established some of the finest entertainment and catering businesses in the town. Now in her 80th year, this is her story. Molly Dean was born on May the 8th, 1941, in her grandmother's house in Roy Bingham, outside Gisala, Eris, County Mayo. Molly spent her early years living in New York, outside Gisala, with her parents, Bridget and Hugh, and her three younger brothers, Hugh, Patrick and Vincent, on their farm. In secondary school, Molly played basketball, camogie and tennis. Tennis was her main love. She felt she was too small for basketball and did not like the camogie sticks hitting her ankles. She gave up her piano lessons so that she could keep playing tennis. Her mother, Bridget, was not impressed. Bridget wanted Molly to be a school teacher, so she was determined she would get a good education. But unfortunately, in November 1957, when Molly was just 16, her dear mum Bridget suddenly passed away. Molly gave up school in Belmullet to take care of her three younger brothers, who were aged between 12 and 5, Vincent being the youngest. Molly's dad went to England to work, so it was left to Molly to run the house and farm and raise her three brothers. However, they were never short of money as Molly's dad Hugh would send the wire home every month and had plenty of relations around. Her brother Patrick remembers those times too and her first job in the lace school in Gisala and nice things she bought with her earnings. Molly, I'm wishing you a very happy 80th birthday and many more to come, please God, with good health and happiness. Uh, we were very young when my mother died. God give her the, the grace of heaven. You had to leave the convent of Bellamullet to come home to look after us. Myself, Hugh and Vincent. It was not an easy task. But we got on with it. You went to work in the lay school in Gisana and bought yourself a beautiful bicycle. You also bought a lovely Philips radio that we really got a great enjoyment out of, especially with Luxembourg at the time. Best of luck, Molly, from your brother, Patrick. In 1962, Molly celebrated her 21st with a jug of milk and some rollers. In 1963, Molly won a Miss Mayo competition and went on to represent Mayo in the national competition. Later that year, Molly married fellow New York native Seamus Maguire. They left Ireland with the plan to move to Australia and went to London as a stopover to make the application, but Molly got cold feet. She thought she might not see her father again if she went to Australia, so they ended up staying in London and finally settling in Kingsbury where they built up a large, successful construction company, ran from the converted shed in their home. They also started a family. They had four kids, Bridget, Anne, Gillian and Gerard. The Maguires still came back home to Mayo on annual and sometimes biannual holidays. Molly and Seamus also decided that they wanted to rear their kids back home in Ireland, so, in 1974, they purchased Seafield Hotel in Eastgate County, Sligo, and soon after moved back to run this business. It is here that Molly first met a young, enterprising live music promoter. Well, hello, my long-legged woman dressed in black. I cannot believe I'm here wishing you an 80th birthday. My God, where have all those years gone? I remember 
as a young boy of 15 years of age going over to you in the Seafield Hotel trying to get bookings from my three-piece band, The Country Express. You didn't disappoint. You took out your diary and you gave me a booking for every week for several months and I floated out of the place thinking I was booked to play Carnegie Hall. Then we uh, had a great run at the Georgian in Ballina with the biggest bands in the business and what a trip that was. Uh, the crowds uh, every week packed out and again, you were at the helm. Then you, of course, went to Deanwood and opened a hugely successful nightclub. And and uh, I cannot, I cannot say enough what a wonderful impresario you are. Anyway, then there was the famous weekend in Clarn Bridge, when I introduced a cocky young lady to you. <laughs> And uh, and the rest is history. Now look look around me here. We have our own crew. So, uh, Mrs. C, Katie, and Ava are here to wish their lovely Molly a happy birthday. Say hello and wish happy birthday, girls. Happy birthday, happy birthday Molly. Molly. Meanwhile, in 1975, they also purchased a pub and shop on Clare Street called Riders and also two private houses, which they then demolished to make way for the construction of the Georgian Inn, which opened in April 1976. It soon established itself as one of the top live music venues in the west of Ireland, hosting the biggest names in Irish country and western and traditional Irish music. Molly, how are you doing? It's Daniel here. Just a wee message to wish you a very, very happy 80th birthday. I can't believe that you're celebrating 80, but I hope you're having a great day and I hope that you're able to celebrate in some way. It's not easy to celebrate anything in these times, but I hope you're marking the day in a special way. Many's a good night when I'm thinking it that we had with you down in Balna and uh, what, what great, great dancers we used to have there in the Georgian. But listen, many happy returns. God bless and lots of love to you and please God, We'll meet sometime soon. Well, hello, Molly. It's your old friend, Bruce Shields here, coming on to congratulate you. And I hope you have an exciting, ecstatic, exotic, exuberant, 80th birthday party. It's a great chance for me to thank you for all the great nights that we had at the Georgian Inn in Balanagh. In 1978, Molly bought Glencairn House on Bury Street, Ballina, and converted it to the Deanwood Hotel, which opened for business in 1979. And a few months later, Pearl's Nightclub opened its doors for the first time in June, becoming the first purpose-built nightclub in the region. The pressures of running two businesses and rearing a family at the same time took its toll, and Molly and her husband Seamus went their separate ways. Seamus continued to run the Georgian, while Molly ran the Deanwood Hotel and Pearl's Nightclub, while their kids continued to run amok. In January 1984, her elderly father Hugh passed away at the age of 87. In 1985, Seamus moved back to England and Molly also took over the running of the Georgian and rebranded it as Molly Maguire's. Meanwhile, on a personal front, Molly had also met an incredibly special man, Pather McMahon. Pather came into her life like a whirlwind and went on to become her rock and soulmate to this very day. Pather, originally from Cavan, was part owner of the Finmax garage in Ballina at the time. Pather moved on from Finmax and became a fully working partner of Molly, and the two of them went on a rampage of business ventures for 30 plus years. But how was Molly received in Cavan at the time? Molly, happy, happy birthday. We're sitting here at the back of the house with all our friends, dogs and different people and cattle looking in at us. And I think back with fondness to the 1980s when Father told me his news of having met a wonderful new friend. God, he was so happy. And when I met Molly for the first time, it was evident why. You made wonderful friends along the way and that says so much about you. 
Have a wonderful celebration with your family at this special time. Sorry we all can't be with you for it, but we're with you very much in spirit, and we can't wait to meet you both soon and catch up. God bless you, and many thanks for being you. Never change, and have a very, very happy birthday, Molly. Cheers, Molly. Happy birthday. Molly and Pather have since spent 40 plus special years together. In December 2008, Molly was at last able to marry her beloved Pather in a civil ceremony followed by a fantastic wedding reception in Ashford Castle. But Molly did not leave it there. Her determination trait came to the fore again as she fought to get her marriage to Pather recognised by the church. On the 19th of January 2013, her dream came true when herself and Pather got to walk down the aisle at their church wedding in Partry, County Mayo, followed by another fantastic wedding reception in Ashford Castle. Two incredibly special days, treasured by both Molly and Pather. A footnote, but I am sure not too many hotels will have two wedding receptions for the same two people. After a long absence due to COVID-19, Daniel O'Donnell will make a welcome return to the UK this October for his concert tour. Hear Daniel sing all your favourites and songs from his current album simply entitled Daniel. For all booking and ticket information, please go to www.danielodonnell.org. Then click on Tours where you can check all your venue and booking information. So why not stand beside Daniel and give him a big welcome back to the UK this October. For details, go to www.danielodonnell.org. Uh, Molly, uh, happy birthday. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to wish you um, many, many more years of health and happiness. I know that you will be surrounded uh, by your family uh, this evening and that really is all that matters to you. It struck me when I was thinking about this short video that I've known you for at least the last uh, 16 years and it has been part of my uh, pleasure and joy to have been able to know Pather and yourself. So I wish you a very happy birthday and a lovely evening uh, with everybody. Molly's next business venture still lives on in Ballina today. In 1985, she convinced Sonny Ho, then the head chef of her favourite Chinese restaurant in Dublin, Kites of Ballsbridge, to come and open Ballina's first Chinese restaurant. A few months later, Sonny and his wife Loretto opened their restaurant, the Lantern Chinese Restaurant and Takeaway, at the back of Molly Maguire's. At the same time, Balanaz's nightlife in the 80s was booming. Pearls was going strong, four nights a week, every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Molly's resident DJ in Pearls in the mid-80s was a young, talented lad from Westport. Hi there, Molly. Many congratulations. A very happy birthday to you. You know, I have some very, very fond memories of my time at the Deanwood Hotel. I think I was in Pearls about five years. And, uh, and as I said, I'm thrilled to be able to send greetings from here in Dublin. Hope to be in the West very soon. Happy birthday, Molly. All the best. In the mid 80s, there were several other competing nightclubs in Ballina. They included Tingles, Rasputin's, Friends in Balik and the Rugby Club on Saturday while Molly Maguire's continued to focus on the live music scene. These clubs were well run and offered strong competition at the time. Good evening, the Maguire family. Happy 80th birthday, Molly. Wishing you good health and happiness into the future. I fondly remember our days on Bury Street when in the Tingles and Pearls era. Yourself and Pather were always great neighbours to us. All the best and have a great evening. In the summer of 1987, Molly opened Sergeant Pepper's Disco Bar at the back of the Deanwood. John Moyles was Sergeant Pepper's bar manager and resident DJ, ably assisted by his colleague Bernie Rice. It was a huge success. In Easter 1988, Molly and Pather opened a major spin-off from Sergeant Pepper's. The Hot House opened at the Molly Maguire's venue. Hot House was also known as the Cool Cat Club for a short time. 
In 1989, Molly and Pather completed a major revamp on the premises and rebranded it the Waterfront, but the club remained the hothouse. Hi Molly, this is Steve Wall here from The Stunning and I'd like to wish you a very happy 80th birthday. I do indeed remember the hothouse in Ballina, mainly because it was probably the wildest club we'd played in, not just in the west of Ireland, but the whole of Ireland. We were quite taken aback at the time at how wild the place was, especially we didn't expect that sort of level of uh, hedonism in Ballina, but um, we were quite eager to get back. So uh, well done and um, delighted to hear that uh, you're celebrating your 80th birthday and hopefully more to come. Happy birthday, Molly. Meanwhile, back at the Deanwood on the other side of town, Pearls was also undergoing a major renovation as it was knocked to the ground and a new nightclub, including a novel second story balcony overlooking the dance floor, was constructed. One trait that made Molly the successful businesswoman she was, was her determination. She never gave up. In 1990, the hothouse rebranded to Roxy's, which was then later rebranded again to Upsides. And yes, as the name suggests, there was tables and chairs stuck to the ceiling and an apparatus to hang the DJ upside down. However, in 1991, Molly decided to sell the venue to the Murphy brothers, Alan and Paul, who went on to establish Longnecks. She was delighted, and shortly afterwards, a surprise 50th was organised in Bloom's Bar. But she knew. In 1992, Molly and Pather bought the Central Hotel from Des McAndrew, and then opened Knight's Nightclub. Later, the hothouse name was also used for the nightclub before its next major renovation. In 1993, the Trading Post, an American-style music bar, opened where Sergeant Peppers used to be, which culminated with the Broken Jug Bar and Restaurant opening in July 1995. A few short months later, in December 1995, Molly and Pather opened the Pulse nightclub in the heart of Ballina. Both the Broken Jug and the Pulse were extraordinarily successful businesses into the late 90s, which also took in two crazy flat to Ballina in 1997 and 1998. Still in the 1990s, Molly and Pather then decided to venture outside of Ballina when they bought and ran Harnett's Pub in Innescrone known today as Gilroy's. In 2004, Molly decided to sell her beloved Deanwood Hotel. Eventually, 17 years after Molly sold, it looks like the Deanwood will finally get developed, with Aldi currently coming to Ballina at the site. In 2005, Molly and Pather proceeded to build apartments, shops and a restaurant behind the Broken Jug building where the nightclubs used to be. Hi Molly. I'll be absolutely wrong with that, just to wish you a very happy 80th and I hope you enjoy the celebrations. They're not what you deserve uh, or you should be having for this big occasion, but hopefully in time we'll be able to market uh, properly. And just to thank you for everything that you've done uh, for us and for the town over all that time. You really broke glass ceilings before anyone was broken them. So put the feet up now and let them all spoil you for these few days and enjoy it and enjoy the celebrations. And as I said, there will be a time when this will be marked appropriately in the way it should be. So, can I read that? Claude. Happy birthday, Molly. Delighted to know that you've got, as far as you've got. Welcome to the Park Hotel from here. We're in the middle of a big uh, renovation, as you can see, and of course, looking for builders and things, impossible. But anyway, we get on with it as we always did in our day. I always remember when I went visiting uh, as president of Skull, and you had the lovely um, uh, country and western dancers going, you know, that you had a little interlude on our dinner. But I was laughing to myself because the night before I was in um, Burgundy in France in the cellars of Chateau Lafitte or somebody as big as that. And they were having a, a, the Paris Ballet. So I went from the Paris Ballet to the line dancing in less than 24 hours in pink. But I always remembered and I enjoyed it. Hello to Pader and all the family. Keep well and we'll see you when it's all over. Happy birthday. Molly is very much all about family and her grandkids 
and is delighted that all four of her kids and grandchildren are back and living nearby. She is always helping and advising where she can. All of her children have so many memories of growing up with Molly as their mother and they would probably need their own hour-long special video to tell all their stories. Just to toast, it's your 80th. Thank you for being the coolest mum, arriving out to Gertner Abbey. Uh, always looking immaculate and amazing. Um, and the last few years, there are just no words. I love you lots. You're incredible. You're strong. You're loving. And you're the best mum in the world. Happy 80th. Hi, Hi Daddy. Daddy. Happy birthday, Mum. I hope you have a great day. Um, one thing I'm glad is the fortune teller was wrong and uh, looking forward to the party. Hope you have a lovely day. We love you. Bye. Looking forward to the party and the hangover. Enjoy the day. Happy 80th. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday. Mother, we are so happy to be here celebrating this milestone birthday, your 80th birthday. We hope you have a wonderful day and night celebrating with your family. Cheers! Happy, Happy birthday, Mommy! Okay, Nan. Hey. Happy birthday, Nanny. You're the best Nanny ever. Glad that I can come with you. And Nanny! Even though it's a bit of a busy bus, we have to do it because God it's like a really special birthday and because you've become 80. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Ah. Happy birthday, Nanny. Um, Looking forward to, uh, well, we'll have the party over us by the time you get to see this. Uh, Remember, 10 years ago when we had a big hoo-ha in the wine porch, um, and all the fun we've had since. Uh, thank you for uh, accepting me into your family with such love and such grow. Um, we've had lots of uh, treasured memories over the last few years. And please God, we have a few more to make. No, no. Oh, health and happiness. It's lunch to you, Nanny. Thanks for everything. Love you lots. Can you believe a young gentleman like me has an eight-year-old mother? I can't. I hope you've enjoyed the trip down memory lane. Um, it was fun pulling it together, although I was cursing you halfway through because you've done so much in your life. It's unbelievable. Um, if any of us do 20% of what you've done, we've had full lives. When I think about you and all the different stories, things I think about is more your personality traits in terms of your perseverance, your drive, your determination, your mother never gives up attitude. Also, your kindness and your generosity and that you're always there for us and you're our rock when we need you to be. Enjoy the rest of the night. Delighted to be part of it. Delighted that you're in such good health and fettle for your 80th. I hope we all get that and I look forward to organising your 90th. Take care. Lots of love. So, 80 years down and many more to come, hopefully. Molly has several business interests still on the go that are keeping her busy. Here is to many more happy and healthy years. Keep eating your favourite prawns and oysters and drinking your good drink. It's doing you no harm. Hope you enjoyed this look back at your busy and fulfilling life to date. Happy 80th birthday, Molly. After a long absence due to COVID-19, Daniel O'Donnell will make a welcome return to the UK this October for his concert tour. Hear Daniel sing all your favourites and songs from his current album simply entitled Daniel. For all booking and ticket information, please go to www.danielodonnell.org. Then click on tours where you can check all your venue and booking information. So why not stand beside Daniel and give him a big welcome back to the UK this October. For details, go to www.danielodonnell.org.